my channel welcome if this is your first time here my name is day and if you like these types of videos go ahead and subscribe and join the family and for those of you who have been here thank you guys so much for coming back to see me once again in today's video we're getting personal i'm doing a life update i haven't done a life update since the summer i feel like um since after i had my son so this is like my check-in <laughs> because for some reason you guys like my life update videos and I don't really show the amount of drama that I go through in life, honestly. And it's just really me just figuring out how to be a, a mom and, you know, a wife and a teacher and stuff like that. It's no real drama, but it's just like, for those of you who have kids or you get it, you know what I mean? You get it. It's just, it's always something. Um, but yeah, this is my life update. I want to start with like the, the light stuff. So I bought um, myself something from LV. This isn't an exciting purchase. This is a repurchase. So I, you guys know that I'm the queen of buying and selling, okay? I really just wanted something really, really, really basic for every day. You know what I mean? Like bags are nice, don't get me wrong. And you know, they're beautiful depending on what you get. But honestly, how often are we, well, me personally, I'm not dressing up that much if that makes sense like even when i dress up it's like a dressy casual like going to a nice spot for a dinner or something like that it's never like formal event pull out your chanel for me for me i know a lot of you guys may live that life i don't live that life just yet so i really needed something for like every day right and i was like scrolling on the website like i really don't feel like purchasing like a um pochette just because I just don't feel comfortable <laughs> because when I first bought them a couple years ago, you guys know how cheap they used to be. And with the price increases on them, I was just like, I don't really feel like doing that. And I honestly want something smaller. I really missed my um, Toll Tree 26 bag. I'll insert a picture. I don't know why I sold that bag. I missed it so much. And that's why I got this. And this is the Etui Voyage. This was my very, very, very first purchase a couple years ago. So glad I have it back. And also very glad that they didn't increase the price on it that much. And I just wear this every day, guys. I use it for like an everyday little clutch. I put it inside my work bag. I was carrying my entire work tote everywhere I went. Now I can just leave that in the office. And when I need to um, go out, I just take this. It's so like convenient. I'm like, why did I sell this? Like, it's just so more, so much more um, practical and realistic, if that makes sense. And I just have my little like keys in here, my little um, card case, some lip gloss. Like it's just so easy, quick to go, you know what I mean? And it was very inexpensive. Um, so yeah, that is what I got myself this year. Treated myself, and this is one of three purchases I'm gonna make. So. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey buddy. Mm. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I am planning to only make three luxury purchases this year and that is going to be a nice wallet. Um, I really want a nice wallet just for like travel and to just keep all of my cards in. Being a mom of three, guys, I feel like I have so many cards, so many cards. I have a card, cards for myself, cards for each child, and then my husband's cards too because wives, you know how that is. And I just need a place to keep everything, especially for like, you know, when I'm leaving home. Um, so I really want a nice wallet. I want a pair of luxury sunglasses. And I want my wallet on chain from Chanel. And those are going to be my final purchases, which I feel, if I get anything else, it'll it'll really be random. But I think those are going to be my final purchases. And I'm getting them this year because next year, guys, I really don't think I'm buying any luxury items at all. Um, I'm going to be focusing on revamping my, my wardrobe now especially since i'm like done having kids i feel like i can finally get down to a size that i know that i will be but guys i'm trying to travel next year like i really am anything that i make that like i didn't know that i was gonna make like you know extra money i'm either going to save it or use it for travel and just to put things into perspective for you guys i have not gone out of the country since 2014 
I haven't bought a plane ticket since 2015. And I think the year before that was the last year that I went out of the country. I went to Jamaica in 2014. Guys, I gotta go. I gotta get up out of here. Like, I'm so, <laughs> I have got to go. And it has not even been because I haven't tried to, but it's just, when I think about my life, I feel like I've spent the majority of my 20s, and these are great accomplishments, but I was either in school, in college, getting my degrees, or I was pregnant or recovering. And I'm like, man, like I'm 28. I'm going to be turning 29 this year. I'm spending my last year of my 20s really enjoying life. And I, I mean that. So next year, I'm going out. Okay, me and my husband, we're going out. We are traveling. And I'm taking my babies out too. I want to take them to some places, you know, like I feel like as well, like COVID has kind of restricted a lot. And I'm tired of living like that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, obviously, I want to, you know, be safe and things like that, but I gotta live life. I really do. So that's gonna be my goal. <laughs> so these things I am gonna, gonna try to get this year so that next year when I, like, you know, am traveling, I'll have these things to travel with. And just overall, I'm kind of like, I feel like I've had a lot of you guys always ask when I put like Q and A's up, how is my mental health and things like that. And mental health is such a huge thing right now. I feel like everybody is kind of like taking a step back and looking at and evaluating themselves and their family and their friends because some people are really, really struggling. I am very grateful to say that I'm in a great place um, now, especially in terms of postpartum. I feel like my second pregnancy was my hardest time postpartum. I was very, very, very down. I was in a really dark space. And um, I'm just overjoyed to say that this time I've, it's been amazing. And I don't know if that has anything to do with just like the support I've gotten or just like the stage that I'm in. Maybe I, I know more about, you know, motherhood and postpartum, but it has just been so easy and so refreshing. And I'm, I'm not gonna say easy raising the kids because they're busy. Toddlers and babies are just so busy. They're always into something. But in terms of me and my mental health, I've really been at peace. And obviously I can't thank anyone but God for that because I know a lot of people don't have that experience. I've been so at peace, guys. Like, I'm just like, I'll text my husband and be like, we really have the perfect life. Like, honestly, and you no, know, we don't have everything that we wish or desire just yet, but we have the things that matter. You know, we have our health, we have each other, and we're happy, like genuinely happy. And I feel like that's something that um, there are a lot of people who in their marriage and in their home, they don't have peace and they don't have happiness, which is very heartbreaking. Um, but I'm grateful that I do. So that's been that. One of my goals for this year, even though next year I feel like it's going to be my traveling year, one of my goals for this year is definitely to get out more. I have always been one of those people that I just like automatically think no before yes. I always put my kids and my family first, so I've always been like the type of person that says I can't go out, you know, I have the kids or you know just for just for no reason I'm not going to go here because I would much rather, you know, I just got to make sure the kids are taken care of. Um, yes, I'm going to make sure my kids are taken care of, but I told myself I'm going to say yes to a lot of things that just require me being me, like day being day. You know what I mean? Like if my friends that have been my friends for a very long time want to have a girls weekend or something, I'm not going to automatically think no before I think yes. Obviously, you guys know that I'm a teacher that hasn't changed. <laughs> Teaching during a pandemic is really not much to update or say about it. It's craziness, but um, we get through it. Like, you know, life goes on. Like, you, kids, teaching high school is crazy anyway. So to be honest, this isn't really like an extreme thing. Um, it just is what it is. But yeah, that is my life update for you guys. Drop anything down below, any comments or additional questions that you have that I have not covered. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another life update. And I appreciate you guys. I'll do more life updates soon, I feel like. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.